All right, YouTube, let's talk some basketball. So the official NBA referee Twitter account put out a series of tweets talking about and trying to explain the pump and draw plays. If you guys didn't know, the pump and draw plays is basically referring to a way... Well, let me just show you. All right, so this is Luca. All right, he steps back. Nice move. Nice move. He leans in towards Andrew Wiggins. He draws a foul. That's pretty much what the pump and draw is. You pump fake. You lean into a defender who's closing out. And then you get two or three free throws, depending on where you shoot the ball from. This is a move that was popularized way back in the day by D. Wade. And now we got players like James Harden, Trey Young, Luka Doncic, Emmanuel Quickly, who are just using it and potentially, arguably, abusing it. But let's get into why the NBA officiates this move by offensive players the way that they do. So first, let's focus on the defender. The defender being Andrew Wiggins. Notice how Andrew leaves his feet and is moving towards Luka. Anytime a defender leaves his feet and jumps from A to B towards a shooter, he is at risk of committing a foul. This type of movement by a defender is illegal. Read that again. This type of movement by a defender is illegal. What do you mean by this type of movement? Do you mean jumping towards a shooter to contest? So because he's at risk of committing a foul, he should not be allowed to jump towards and try to contest a decent or good or solid three-point shooter. So what should he do? What kind of defense does the NBA want defenders to play? If he's not if he's not allowed to run forward, to jump forward and contest, should he run hard and close out hard instead? What type of defense are these players allowed to play? Because it definitely doesn't seem like it's a consistent call. Let's take a look at what Luka does. Well, Luka does clearly jump towards Andrew. So they acknowledge that Luka initiates the contact. It is not illegal for a shooter to jump directly towards the rim as Luka is doing here. The problem with that, NBA, is Luka is not jumping towards the rim. The rim is over here. Andrew Wiggins was over here. All right, let me rewind that just a little bit. Okay. So Wiggins is to the side of Luka. This is not a normal shooting motion, folks. Nobody I can ever think of in league history, not Bill Cartwright, not Michael Kidd Gilchrist even, nobody shoots the ball like this. This is not a normal legal, well, I should not say legal. This is not a normal shooting shooting motion, especially not for Luka Doncic. This is not how he usually shoots the ball. So Andrew Wiggins is to the right of Luka Doncic. The basket is slightly, well, I would say like 15, 20 degrees to the left. Okay, so he's not jumping towards the rim. He's jumping towards the player. So this makes no sense. So it's not illegal for a shooter to jump directly towards the rim. Okay, that's fine. But what about a shooter jumping into a defender who's not even in front of the rim? Next, with Andrew in an illegal position and Luka using a legal basketball move. And by the way, listen, I fully acknowledge the NBA makes the rules. So I can't say wh that it should be legal or illegal. I can say that it's a stupid, a stupid officiating call. When they make contact, the onus is on the defender and the contact is correctly deemed a defensive foul. Okay, fine. Finally, Andrew getting a foot back to the floor does not absolve him of his illegal movement. His momentum is still taking him forward. When the contact occurs, and this is still considered an illegal position by a defender. So it sounds like the NBA is completely, completely against defenders leaving their feet to contest a jump shot. The problem with the statement is Wiggins' momentum is not taking him towards Luka Doncic here. Okay. His momentum is moving towards the side of Luka Doncic. So Andrew Wiggins, when he jumped, he would have landed here. Luka, if he took a normal jump shot, would have landed if he jumps forward a little bit, just here, okay? Maybe a, a foot or two there. It's not Andrew's momentum who's taking him into Luka Doncic, the shooter. It's Luka's momentum taking him into the defender. So why is one action illegal? And why is the other action, which is, in my opinion, more egregious than that of the offensive player, why is that not considered illegal? I know the reason why. The reason why is because the NBA could give two shits about defense. All they care about is offense and scoring that takes precedence over anything else in a basketball game they could give two shits about you playing solid defense all they want to do is make sure that the scoring is inflated inflate their ratings right because you have oh man you have such a high scoring affair meanwhile the flow of the game is not there because the officials are constantly calling stupid calls like this they're stopping the flow of the game they're blowing whistles left and right over stupid shit they get calls wrong all the time and it's just not fun to watch it's not fun to play i'm sure if you're a defender it's not a fun 
product to watch. And just as a bonus clip, let's look at this clip that David Williams on Twitter posted. Apparently, this was a shooting foul called on Gordon Hayward. Let's look at what how bad this is. So Devin Booker taking a three. And he elbows Gordon Hayward in the freaking face. And apparently, that is three <laughs> foul shots for Devin Booker. That is a foul on Gordon Hayward. Because Gordon Hayward had the nerve to get elbowed in the face by Devin Booker. <laughs> and like, this is... Do you, not, do you not see how ridiculous this is? Do you not see how dumb and biased these calls are towards the offensive player? And apparently the NBA confirmed this was a correct call in the last two-minute report. <laughs> it is just a joke. Oh, and by the way, as an aside, the last two-minute report is a complete joke. It is a total joke. Because one of two things can happen. One... The NBA acknowledges in the last two minutes report that, hey, we screwed up the call, but we're not going to do shit because there ain't shit that we can do. And then if you're the if you're the team that got the short end of the stick, you end up saying, well, what good does that do me? What good does a stupid L2M report do me? Or they say they get the call correct and then it just infuriates everybody because everyone that watches the game knows it isn't the right call. So these are just two short examples of the many examples that are available of how officiating is a complete joke in the NBA. And sadly, I don't think it's going to change. I don't think Adam Silver has any intention of putting in rules to protect defensive players. No, they want the scoring to be inflated. They want it to be this way, so it's probably going to be this way. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think? Do you think that this should be free throws for Luka Doncic? Should this be free throws for Devin Booker? Or is this just complete BS all around? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out.